Hello friends, welcome back to Arupediaword.com. In this video, we'll be discussing another method to calculate mean for a given data. The method is known as step deviation method. Friends, earlier in the previous video, we discussed assumed mean method along with its derivation. It said to calculate mean of observations for a given data, the mean is assumed mean plus mean deviation. We have simplified the calculation process in this method as compared to the direct method. Now friends, to more simplify the calculation part, let us again work upon this deviation column. Friends, if we look at this deviation column that is di, we can see that all the terms in this column are varying with a certain value that is here minus 30 when added with 15 will give minus 15 when we add minus 15 with 15 we will get 0 again on adding 15 we will get 15 and again adding 15 we will get the subsequent terms so here what is 15 if we look at this class interval, 15 is in fact the class size. That is upper limit minus lower limit. So friends, if we divide this deviation by the class size, then what we will get? Let us make another column on dividing first deviation by class size that is minus 30 by 15 we will get minus 2 for the second observation the second deviation minus 15 divided by class size that is 15 we will get minus 1 for the third deviation we will get 0 over 15 that is 0 for the fourth deviation it will be 1 and then 30 divided by 15 will be 2 45 divided by 15 will be 3 so, we have simplified these deviations to more simple numerical values. Let us label this column as UI. Now friends, if we divide, multiply this UI with the frequencies, that is FI UI, then a lot of calculation will be simplified that is f1 multiplied by u1 will be minus 20 8 multiplied by minus 1 will be minus 8 and 10 multiplied by 0 will be 0 16 multiplied by 1 will be 16 8 multiplied by 2 will be 16 and 8 multiplied by 3 will be 24. Now, as done previous, let us calculate summation fi ui. So, it will be the negative values are minus 20 plus 8 that is minus 28. Then we have 0 and for the positive values we have 6 plus 6, 12 plus 4, 16, 2 and 1 of carry 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1, 5. So, on performing this calculation, we will get 28. So, summation fi ui is 28. So, no doubt we have simplified the calculations by dividing deviation with class size. But what about the calculation of the required mean? So, let us work upon that derivation path. 
here it is a more simplified figure for what we have done in the calculation part we have calculated ui that is deviation over class size and the product and the sum of all these products that is summation fi ui friends x bar is summation fi xi over summation fi and uh, d bar is summation friends since we need to calculate mean which is summation fi xi over summation fi from these calculation we can also calculate summation fi ui over summation fi which let it be u bar similarly d bar which we have used in the previous method is summation fi di over summation fi that is whichever variable whose mean is calculated is written here in all the cases that is for mean of the observations here we have calculated the individual observations or class marks for mean deviation we calculated or producted individual deviations with the frequencies so in these calculations we can calculate u bar easily which is summation fi ui over summation fi but our ultimate goal is the calculation of mean of observations so let us mold this formula somewhat into the mean of observations first of all what is ui ui let us substitute it as di over h so we have fi into di over h over summation fi now what is di it is xi minus a so we have here fi xi minus a over h over summation fi now friends like the previous case let us work upon this term to mold the formula of u bar into that of x bar friends summation fi xi minus a over h can be simplified as see what we have done here we have producted fi with the corresponding ui that is 10 with this ui 8 with this so we can say that it is f1 into x1 minus a over h plus f2 into x2 minus a over h plus f3 into x3 minus a over h and so on till the last term the last term will be fn xn minus a over h so we can take 1 by h common from all the values because h is in denominator and we can break this product as f1x1 from the first term f2x2 from the second term plus f3x3 from the third term and till fn xn also on breaking the product it will be minus f1a minus f2a minus f3a and minus fna so it will be minus f1a minus f2a minus f3a up till minus fna so we have now we can simplify this all these terms as summation fi xi where i belongs to 1 to n and for this part if we take minus is common and also we can take a as common which is same in every term so we will be having f1 plus f2 plus f3 which is nothing but summation fi where i belongs to 1 to n 
so we have calculated this term into this term that is u bar is this thing divided by summation fi or we can say 1 by h summation fi xi minus a summation fi divided by summation fi now we can have 1 by h common and the further calculations will be summation fi xi over summation fi minus a summation fi on breaking this lcm we will get 1 by h and summation fi xi over summation fi minus a summation fi over summation fi since the numerators and denominators are same here so they will get cancelled and we are left with u bar as 1 by h now what is this thing summation fi xi over summation fi it is nothing but mean so we have calculated u bar as this term so on cross multiplying h u bar will be x bar minus a or we can say that x bar is h u bar plus a thus mean is a so with the simplified version of this table and calculating u bar that is u bar can be calculated easily as summation fi ui over summation fi that is 28 over 60 we can calculate mean so mean will be x bar equal to h into 28 over 60 plus a now h the class size is 15 into 28 over 60 plus assumed mean which is 47.5 so 15 will cancel 60 by 4 28 will be the seventh multiple of 4 so we have 7 plus 47.5 that is 54.5 which is the same result calculated by assumed mean method so friends this was step deviation method here let us rewind what we have done first of all we calculated deviations by first assuming a mean which is also done in assumed mean method the deviations was class marks minus assumed mean for each of the class mark we made a column of deviation then we divided deviations by the class size h which is upper limit minus lower limit of the class interval we get simplified version of the deviations that is minus 2 minus 1 0 which are more simpler than the actual deviations then we producted this ui with frequency on multiplying ui with the corresponding frequencies a column was prepared and then we calculated the sum of all these products then we calculated u bar which is summation fi ui over summation fi then we derived a formula for mean by this u bar which was coming out to be h u bar plus a on substituting the values of u bar h and a 
we calculated the mean as 54.5 so up till now we have covered three methods of calculation of mean the first method was direct method which says summation fi over xi over summation fi is the mean the second method was assumed mean which said that mean is assumed mean plus mean of deviations the third method was which we have covered in this video is step deviation method which says that mean is class size into this u bar plus assumed mean so friends that's all on this topic step deviation method thanks friends for watching this video